under this framework where it would be uh, illegal for an adult to buy a vape without a prescription uh, but not a cigarette, I just want to ask the long-term policy direction. Is that an inconsistency that you plan on addressing by banning smoking or by phasing out smoking by birth year as they're doing in New Zealand? We've got no plans to do that. I, I also particularly, this might be a minor nuance, but it's important for me. Our focus is not on the people buying. Our focus is on the people selling. Yeah, this, is, this has been a vendor-driven, corporate-driven um, phenomenon that we've seen. And so when we talk about enforcement, the state and territory governments and, and us, we're focused very much on importers and vendors, not on, not on the customer themselves. We want to knock out the market. We're not blaming the customers. Um, we're, not, we're not blaming them. They've been sold a pup. We've all been sold a pup. Frankly, we've been duped. And so the difference, I think, between vaping and cigarettes is, is that cigarettes have been with us for so long. You know, if we knew now, back then, when cigarettes were being introduced, I would hope that governments would have stopped it, would have snuffed it out immediately, which is what I want to do to vapes. You know, we have a closing window here before vapes become so widespread so accepted, so normalised, as frankly some would want them to be, the National Party, for example, that it would be very, very difficult to take any action. Uh, but I'm still confident that, that the thing is still relatively new and we are going to be able to take the action that I've outlined today.